Hey everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Genshin Impact. Alright, so I have myself a quest. I'm going to check it out to remind myself what it's time to do. I need to meet Amber at the temple. To stop Storm Terror Siege, you must venture out and eliminate the elemental flows left within the ruined temples of the Four Winds. Amber is waiting for you at the Temple of the Falcon. All right, so um, that's where I need to go. It looks like I'm going to get some serious quest rewards down there at the bottom of the screen. There's some currency types that I've never seen. Um, and so that, at the very least, looks interesting. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to it. Um, and I'm going to leave the screen, and there we go. So it's marked, and that's where I need to go. I'm going to use my map, and, okay, I could just teleport to this location out here, um, but I don't know if there's a need to do that. I'm just going to run out there. But there is a need to get some mint. Now, I made some food. Um, I completed this little cooking quest out here. And I made myself some delicious food. I'm just going to wait till my stamina recharges. And so I think I'm going to be okay with respect to stamina. But I don't know. Hey, puppet. Hello, how's it going? Playing some Genshin Impact. Have you uh, booted this game up yet? I'm flying. Alright, here she is. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. All right, here is the dis one of the temples that we need to go into. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. Oh. Okay. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. Okay. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Wait, did you say its own temple? Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Wow. Hey, Teladaga, how's it going? Huh? Doing some Genshin Impact. Oh, wow, Puppet, you got a 4K TV coming in? Nice. Excitement. Wait, did you just feel that? I feel what? The wind here. Something's off. Hmm. Oh, okay, puppet. Cool. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. All right, I will be careful. Thanks for letting me know. Um, let's see. Press L3 to investigate. Um, I'm just going to go in. Well, that looks good. Let's see. Um, well, this recommended party level is 20. And I can't do it. And it says domain unlocks at adventure rank 12, which I am not. So we're going to do this one. Deep within the Temple of the Falcon. The Knights of Favonius have been mobilized to contain Storm Terror's destructive rampage. Venture forth with Amber the Outrider to the Temple of the Falcon and stop Storm Terror from gaining the power within. Um, okay, well, I think we could do that. Um, I only have three members right now, so we're just going to go ahead and, and use this party. Alright, 
I am adventure rank five, and I'm heading into my very first dungeon. Whoa. Um, okay, so what is behind me does not look at all like the doorway that I just came through. So some there's some funny business going on here. Dimensional you can use that console to open the door. Funny business. I can use this console, I will. Well, thanks for letting me know about that. Okay. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Hmm. Yeah, man. Look at this. I mean, what is going on here? Are those stalagmites? Am I, am I in some kind of massive cave? I don't know. <laughs> Peacock, what's up? Aw, oh, man, I am sorry about these Twitch commercials, dude. They want all of your money. They want you to buy everything they're selling. The stream keeps buffering for you? That's not good. Um, let me know how it goes in the next couple of minutes. If, if it's still um, acting funny, I might have to um, restart. Use pyro skills to ignite combustible objects. All right, so I got to use amber and we're going to use her to just bust up these barrels. All right, well, we got a carrot. That's a pretty good thing to get there. All right, let's get these thorns out of the way. There we go. Look at that. Treasure chest. Now that's what I'm talking about. Wanderer's advice and ex adventurer's experience. Well, I need to use, like, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to go into my... No, no, no. I don't want to leave the domain. Oh, you can't go into your screen here? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Um... I'm going to level up Amber a bit, just as much as I can. Okay, I got Amber up to level 17. I figure it looks like they want me to use her a lot in here, so I can't lose her by just having her being under-leveled. There we go. Get it. Let's get it going. Yeah, you know what, Puppet? You're 100% right. It's very much... Um, I didn't even make that connection, but you're, yes. Aesthetically, it's so much like Breath of the Wild, which is, in my opinion, good. But then... Um, it's also... Uh, got the puzzles that you get in Zelda games, you know, to do stuff inside the temple, which is another cool aspect of this game. I'm actually playing on PC. I downloaded the PC game client um, and have been playing on that, but I have been tempted to try playing on my PS4. Yes, I saw that puppet. I, I thought about that. Green symbolizes Dendro, which can be ignited by Pyro. Opponents' wooden shields are attributed to Dendro, which can be ignited with Pyro skills, rendering them defenseless. A.K.A. you can set their shields on fire. That's funny. Um, select Elemental Sight. This is new. 
And so what does that do for me? What is this? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's like a place that you spawn if you die or a teleporter back. Anyway, I'm going down here. If I can fight this guy, though, from just being up here, I'm going to just... Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything right now. That, that's for sure. You're 100% right about that. So, let's just pick on this guy from range. <laughs> she is Lego ass. Oh, no, they're not going to let me kill him from far away, it looks like. Oh, no, I got him. That's true. Let's give him the berry bunny. See, so she throws this thing, which attracts the enemies. It has, like, a taunt built into it. And then it just explodes. So it's hysterical, is what it is. And it's a bunny. Teladaga, I'm with you. The bunny is unreal. I love that it taunts. I love that it explodes. I love that it kind of looks like her. It's so funny. All right, let's get in here. Some more wanderer's advice. I'm just going to break all this stuff and burn everything. There we go. Uh, Peacock, I hope your day at work was harmless and that you can just relax in peace now. Yeah, I haven't played very much at all. I've unlocked pretty much nobody except for this Noel who I got free with the event. All right, we're going in. Barrels over there? They sure are, well, Amber. One shot should be able to blow them up. Oh yes. <laughs> Give him the bunny. No, 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 come fight my bunny. Trust me, you'll love this thing. Come fight my bunny. You're going to just have so much fun with this bunny. It's just dancing around, too. It's ridiculous. Get out. We got it. Oop. Radish time. Yeah. I could use a radish. You know, Puppet, I've done a little bit of cooking. I think that's a good question. Um, so, in my... Where do I get to that? Like this? I have... I did the first, like, little cooking quest that was right by the temple. So I made these chicken mushroom skewers. They were pretty good. Um, I got some of this stuff from quests. But that's pretty much it. No. Oh, God, no. I haven't mastered anything. I just made some of this. I didn't know you could master food, though. That's awesome. I love that. I gotta practice more cooking. That's for sure. Also, I just am going to destroy everything in case there's no hidden treasures. 
Oh, wow, Puppet, that's amazing. So if I master the thing, then I can auto-cook? Now you're talking. Honestly, that's one of the only things about um, Breath of the Wild that I didn't like, was just that every time you wanted to cook, you had to open up that little cooking mini-game, and there was really no way to get around that. And it just kind of seemed time-consuming to me. All right. It's so high. Seems like there's something up there. There's definitely something but up there. How do we get across? I don't uh, know. Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Thank you, puppet. I'm going to go do that immediately then. Um Yep, this is a straight up wind glider breath of the wild moment right here. There she goes. Well, let's go get this treasure chest. I know they want me to go across there, but I'm going to be really, really greedy and just get this treasure chest. Wind currents. Up currents can send you soaring up high in an instant. Just jump in, open your wind glider, and enjoy the ride. Dominique, how's it going? Um, I will be doing RuneScape next week. I did two RuneScape uh, streams yesterday and had a blast. There will be a new episode loaded to um, YouTube today. I'm rolling in RuneScape. I'm up to like... 73,000 coins. Just feeling real good. Alright, so let's get this treasure. Yeah, you can... Um, Dominique, the, the VODs are up on YouTube, so you can watch the entire stream if you want, or you can just wait for the episodes to come out each day. I'm sorry you missed it. That stinks. I'm being nosy, and I'm going to look over here and just imagine that there might be some hidden treasures, but I don't see any. Okay. I'm happy with what I got. Yes, Dominique. Absolutely. I'm going to go in here and... Um, let's see. Let's level up some people. I'm going to just keep... Well... I think Noel needs to be leveled up then. Let's see. What can we do? We can level you up once. Do it. And then, this won't level you up all the way, but let's just do it anyway. Alright. Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. Isn't it funny that her dress kind of does look like a uh, maid Get dress? I was confused about that. I was like, is she cleaning, you know, is she dusting the bookshelves, or what's going on here? No, she's a fighter. Dragon's breath. Is that where the power's coming from? I don't Great. know. Let's smash it. Cleaning up the battlefields. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> yeah, I mean, battlefields get Phew, really dirty. I'm tired. You're tired? But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, that's we were right. at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, yeah. the winds change. So too should our tactics. Oh, she does she does both? That's funny. Um Did you come up with it's that? What Lisa likes to say. Lisa the librarian? <laughs> I 
that's funny, Talladega. You know what? Um, I actually thought about, and I mentioned this um, in the last episode I did of RuneScape. I haven't posted it yet, but um, I got to the library inside the barracks or the um, headquarters of the Knights of Favonius or whatever, and I, I got like 42 different books in that library. And I was just like, oh, you know, it's a mobile game, so the books will just be, you know, not that involved. And then I open them, and there's just pages after pages of lore. And so I might do a side episode where I just read all of the books aloud so that I can get immersed in all of the lore of the game. And if anybody else wants to hear it, they can. Um, and I bet in those books I'll find out about um, – it is ASMR. Uh, exactly. Exactly. It's, it's going to be, the title of the video will be Ambien or some other sleep aid. But at the same time, maybe I'll find out more about that girl and her maid adventures. Speaking of which, the four wins we were discussing earlier... <laughs> Teledag is in. Sweet. If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. Okay. I'll I'm ask not Lisa. Saying I don't know our history. It's just. It sounds like what you're saying. Sweet. Well, all right, guys. I'll I'll do it then. I'll record that. I mean, I was gonna do it anyway, even though there's gonna be no views. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I mean, a librarian Lisa is supposed is good. to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's right. You just tell yourself that. Ooh, we get a big treasure chest. Now you're talking. Let's see. Precious chest. My precious. Alright, let's see. Adventurer's experience and fine enhancement ore. I like how they give you a thousand seconds before you leave. That's a funny number to pick. Leaving in 970 seconds. Oh my god. Countdown. That's a very generous number. Hey, Kenneth, what's up? We're going in. You played this game yet, Kenneth? Genshin Impact? Ah, oh, nice. Break time. Well, I'm glad you stopped in on your break. Ooh, I got up to Adventure Rank 6 right there. Meet Kea at the, tebble, the temple. All right, we can do that. Yeah, I'd check it out if I were you, Ken. It's free. I'll race you there. Look at this. There's a treasure chest wrapped in thorns. I can get that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh-oh. But there's a baddie. Oh, that baddie is getting burned alive. I've set the grass on fire. I've started a small conflagration here. I am sorry, everybody. I hope this is a controlled burn that I've done. All right. Oh, another chest. I don't know if it's on Xbox. Um, but I think it's on PS4. It's on Android, iOS, and I think it's on Windows. So, I mean, I'm playing on Windows, so of course it is. You want to try to keep that chest locked? It might seem like you're leveling fast at first until the high-level stuff happens. Ah. Yeah, I feel good right now. Come on, get my bunny. You're going to love it. Yeah, just get it on your phone or uh, on your PC, Ken.
Hey, Ori, what's up, man? Got a chest. See, Puppet, that's that's exactly what I don't want to have happen. I'm loving the game right now where I'm not grinding for hours, and I'm scared of getting far enough into the game where it's like that. So she can't bust that up, but I can with my sword. So I'll just do it that way. Oh, that's true. There is my wallet. Yep, that's how they're going to try to tempt me. I do a good trick, though, with... Oh, she's climbing the tree. I didn't realize she could just get up in the tree like this. Oh, Teladaga, thank you for that tip. That's perfect. I'll use Noel then for the ore. I just enjoy this part of the game right now, just going around gathering stuff, and so I will. Let me try her. Leave it all to me. Boom. Look at her aura. That's right. I gave her this weapon that looks kind of like a baseball bat with spikes. Um, it's serious. Hmm. Combat knowledge. Um, shields. Elemental shields absorb damage for a character, but sustain too much damage and the shield will fail. Okay. Oh, that's all you have to spend? A few hundred a month? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say a few thousand. Well, I mean, I can easily spend um, zero a month. Uh, gosh, that's unreal. You know what, Ori? I have thought about it. Um, the thing, I first of all, I've never played Among Us. And then second of all, um, I'm worried about how the stream works. With the delay and trying to group with people and talk... Yeah, it is too bad. It should be on everything. I know. I keep hearing. I've seen people play Among Us. It does look good. I'm just taking, like, the most inefficient path because I have fun just doing this stuff in the game. Looking for little treasure chests. Using each different character. Collecting mint. There's the temple. I see it in, in the distance. Here we go. I'm going to run. Oh. Here's a group of people. I like that too, Teledega, that you can just kind of take a break. There's no like sheer flat faces. You can climb up a little bit and then just chill out. Yeah, I feel you on that puppet. All right, I'm going to try to cook some more of these skewers to 
try to master it. Ah, uh, I see. Proficiency four of five. Did it. Automatic cooking for chicken mushroom skewer. Oh, ho, ho, now you're talking. Now I've got it. All right, so let's auto cook it. And perfect. Um, actually, let's just make them all. Let's just auto cook 10 of them. Wow, and it goes instantly. That is amazing. That is a huge time saver. I really appreciate that. Um, yes, it got way easier. I'm going for these fried eggs. I'm going to just do everything. Dang. I know it's early in the game, but I love how easy this cooking mini game is. It's not even close to a challenge. <laughs> oh, cool. Trooper group. Sounds fun. You'll have to tell me how it goes, Ori. Boom. I got automatic cooking with that. Um, I can't make very much of this. Sweet. Oh, it's 1 a.m.? Jeez. Look, at I got an adventurer's bandana. Now you're talking. All right, I'm going to go into uh, my character screen. And I got to look at everybody's artifacts. So what are you wearing right now? You're using adventurer stuff, right? So perfect. Let's go ahead and move over here. And... Eh, neither of these are great, but... I can give it to you, and then... For me, it's 10.30. I'm on uh, Eastern Standard Time. 10.30 a.m. All right, so if I wear this Adventurer's Bandana, I get 3.9%, and... Um, Wow, that is amazing how far around the world we all are. Um, I'm going to equip this. Good. And I'm going to go... Can I enhance this? Wow. I could actually enhance this. I don't know if there's any point to enhancing these kinds of things right now i would have to grind up my other artifacts I, I don't think i'm ready to do that yet but that's cool that i could um let me see all right wow it keeps track of your conversations? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. That's pretty useful. Um, alright. Yeah, I haven't even broken into this constellation yet, which looks cool. Yes, Ken, I do want to try Surge, too. I'm excited to see how they have changed it. Um, let's see. Let's give you another artifact. Well, that's, these are both really good. Yeah, I put that. And then, um, let me see. Can we give you an... We can give you one of these feathers, too. Let's give you this last feather here. Attack plus eight. Perfect. All right, fantastic. Um, I know I need to meet you at the temple. Oh, he's stretching. He's like, I'm tired. Oh, what's this item? A divining scroll. Man, I should have picked that up a while ago. How's it going, dude? You feeling all right?
I got him. All right. Let me just take a gander around. Um, I don't know what this does. Elemental site. I guess it just looks for things that you can interact with in the environment that are elemental. And then there's some baddies here. Sure. I have uh, just what you need. As a good knight should. That's right. As a good knight should. Whoa, look at her. She's got the spin move. Man, just wrecked him. Nice job, Noel. Ah, uh, Ori, that would be awesome. I'm sorry, Ken. Ken, that would be awesome. It's a pretty good Christmas gift. Uh, we got a pine cone. Oh, look, there's like a bird egg on top of this pedestal here. I'm going for it. Oh, no. I can just climb up the side, though. That's a good gift, Ori. Good idea. Let's get some of these eggs. We can cook these babies. Um, all right, I'll go talk to this guy. Eye patch guy. You've arrived. I have arrived. How are you feeling? Come closer. Can you smell that? I don't smell it. It's it's the smell of burnt pyro slimes. Something must have happened in the temple. Beautiful. PS5s all around. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Hmm. Oh yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. No doubt nothing more than a disorderly mob of creatures. Oh, oh you're quite the brave one, aren't you? I am going to eat those eggs. That the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. It is a Let's pity. Head in. Let's no head in. No one makes offerings to the four winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. Puppet, that does count. We need to clear out the temples. As work. For the four winds. If you're helping somebody, you're doing work, and they're paying for you, work. 100%. We're going in. Temple of the Wolf. Let's see. I'm starting it. I'm going in. Nothing can stop me now. Except... A bunch of enemies, but I feel okay. All right, let's see what you got. How's it going? Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Oh, okay, dude. Show me. Oh, I get to be him, huh? As a trial. All right, what do you do? You have a sword? Door of Resurrection. Ah, see, so that's... So I suppose if you die, you just respawn at this... That's cool. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, okay. How do you know? <laughs> experience. Nice. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. All right, dude. If there's water around, opponents may become wet. It only makes sense. Yeah, he is edgy. Cryo skills can freeze water, hydro opponents, or opponents that are wet. Utilize this elemental reaction to gain an advantage over your opponents. Okay. Sure, I will try that. Cool it. Cool it. Yeah, we froze that guy. That's sweet. I feel sort of bad hitting you when you're an ice block, but not that bad. Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, there you go, puppet. You don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? Don't ask it all these questions. Yes. Uh, something strange happened. Yeah, that's right, Paimon. 
We're going to keep it nice and vague. By the way, secret treasure chest back here. Any game where they have secrets that you can, you know, find by just exploring, and if those secrets are treasure, I will play it exponentially longer just because of that. That was adorable. She's like, I can't say the word phenomenon, so... Oh, okay, Ken. Take care. Thanks for stopping by, man. Oh, you can't climb this. Or he can't, anyway. Let's go in. There's another gate. Another resurrection door. Okay. Ooh. A flamethrower's core is what gives it the energy to shoot fire. Alright. Use cryo skills to temporarily disable flamethrowers cores and stop them from shooting fire well I will let's get this dodge thing this. whoa dodge this she's like uh, or he's doing the trinity from the matrix line I love your class Ori playing minecraft can I take that class alright these guys are wet just by nature because they're water slimes so my magic is even more deadly. Dodge this. It can't dodge it. It's stuck in place. Poor flamethrower. Ah, finally, we're here. Finally. Seems the path ends here. Let's use the wind currents to fly up. Yes, let's use the wind currents. But first, let's look for treasures. Everywhere we must scour for treasures. All right, we're flying up. Okay. This is sweet. Usually in games, they push you off of the wind current or it dissipates over time. But this appears to just hold me indefinitely. So I can just kind of look around and see if there's any other platforms I can glide to that have treasures on them. I'm going back here. Ah, oh, there's nothing. Just some broken stuff. Fine. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it's Fireman. Alright, Fire Guy. The blue stone in the center of the room is Hydro Amber. Breaking it will make rain, making everything in its range wet. Oh, perfect. Let's make this flame wet. Hey, come on, dude. Uh oh. You trying to shoot me? What is it? Yeah. We got him. Good idea. That's some keen observation. Yeah, that's good observation. To give you a title and make you a knight. Got him. Uh oh, here they come, or not? So all the baby slimes passed away when I killed the big one. Cool. Yep, there's the amazing chest. Let's go ahead and make it rain again because I like the rain. I'm going to switch to amber and just do this stuff from far away to see if there's anything in these containers. Oh, yes, there is. There's an uh, some chicken. That's right. The science of Minecraft. All right, let's open this precious chest. It's the precious chest. Fine enhancement ore. Ah, uh, I love it. And a radish. I'm never unhappy getting a radish. All right, I'm going to... No... I'm going to level him up as much as I can because he's my main dude. Nice. All right, so 20 is our max level at the moment. Uh-oh, cancel. Don't do that then. Just do this much. Oh, okay. Three icons is the most that Twitch will show. That's good to know. I have so much to learn about Twitch and streaming and everything 
involving the internet. Uh oh. Level you up. Alright, I'm gonna go back to being this dude. Uh oh. Underwater spikes. They make the area too dangerous to swim through. It looks like that. Kaya's cryo skill can freeze the surface of water, creating a safe passage across. Freeze. Wow. Look at that. Man, there's so much cool stuff Speaking in this of, game. I can't you know, believe it. Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting grandmaster about it. I might ask the acting grandmaster. I might just do that. I don't know what that means, one of the four winds. Perhaps I need to read all the books. Yeah, he is a frost walker. I don't know, Puppet. You just is that are really that good at sending messages. Using power? You're a professional Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Message sender. Let's deal with it indeed. Crushed it. Bravo. What a performance. Is he clapping for himself? I didn't even do anything. You are, to my surprise, a well trained knight. Thanks. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. I was you the whole time. Um, not worth complimenting, really. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Yes, I'm supremely modest. The stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Well, that's very nice of you to Please say. Thanks for that. Please visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. He's the palm... The palm speaker. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Whoa, whoa, where's this going? What's going on here? Slow down. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. All right. See you later. There's no way hilly churls organized an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. Uh-oh. Thus you were behind this. What's that? What is going on? Whoa, who's... What's red here? I'm confused. Whoa. Unreal. Nice shot. Always oh, so inefficient. Agree to disagree. But your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Okay. I'm lost, but I think something good just happened. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I get him in my party? Wow. Cool. I thought that was just strictly temporary. I didn't think they were going to give me him. But I guess it makes sense, considering all the time they took to explain his freezing powers. So you probably want somebody of each element so that you can handle all the puzzles and exploit all the enemy weaknesses. That's great. Oh, man, there's a lot of edge going on here. I hope you're okay. I hope you, you don't require medical treatment, puppet. Dude, but the edge is on our team. We got the frosty eye patch man on our squad now. Yes. I will have to say, and this is unfortunate, um, but this game is... Nah, cringe can be... You can shake off cringe most of the time. This game is very much like, you know, borrowing from Breath of the Wild for its beautiful aesthetic. And yet, because poor Breath of the Wild has to be on the Switch, which I love, but it's just an underpowered console, the textures on this game actually look better.
But maybe when they release that 4K Breath of the Wild. Aw, oh, sweet. Oh, I did not know that, Teladaga. That's super helpful. Thank you. Aw, oh, Puppet, your TV is here? Awesome. I'm just going to send a tornado at these people, and then... Do that. So the fire things can be collected. Is that what this is down here on the ground? Oh no, that's just like some kind of exploding concoction. Wow. That's even... That's awesome, Teladaga. I have to get better at paying attention to that kind of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and use my favorite... Oh, these guys are just on fire. You know, it's just there's nothing... Oh, they're wet? All right, well... He's just pulling that flame thing out of the ground. That's awesome. The variety of the enemy's attacks, the way that they interact with the environment, the depth of the elemental exploitation system is ridiculous. There's so many different interactions in this game. It's great. Um, let's see. Is there a teleporter around here? What is this? Oh, no, that's just a temple. Okay. Nice, puppet. The master of the deal. I'm climbing. Let's see what's up here. Any treasures for me? I like that you can jump. Yes, there are some eggs. I like that you can jump while you uh, climb and it doesn't reduce your grip or your stamina. It's awesome. I'm keeping my eye peeled for any homunculi or whatever. Any that I can find, I'll try to scoop up. All right, now I need to meet Lisa at the temple. Well, we should probably not keep Lisa waiting. She's the big cheese after all um let's go do it i love this flying mechanic i love it in breath of the wild i love it in just cause any game where you can just like glide like this is so much fun I see something up on top of that ridge, and I'm going for it. Uh-oh. We've got a trickster blue flower coming out of the ground. Well, guess what, blue flower? Go, go, fairy bunny. Man, this thing has a lot of health for being level 5. I thought it would be easy, considering I'm level 17. It's, it's kind of, like, deceptive what your level is and what it means. I need to power up my equipment and stuff. My, I must leave no stone unturned. my equipment is terrible. Hello. Oh, yeah. The maid went to work right there. She's got flowers everywhere. Looking good. Okay. So up there is something to do. And let's go see it. Uh-oh. I gotta... 
I'm going to run out of stamina. Uh, but they're so nice. They let you just look at her. She's just stuck her shoes and her knee into the wall, and she's just recovering her stamina like nothing. No problems. Just a good day at the office for Noel. Uh-oh. Never mind. We found some problems. Let's get around this corner. All right, let's rest here. She's like, I can do that. All right, we're going to we're going to go over to the side and not mess with this lip anymore. Perfect. Oh no. Oh, it's a waypoint. Unlocked it. It's actually a really nice waypoint cuz it's so up high that if I teleport here, I could just glide wherever I need. All right. Whoa, I'm going really far away. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, Hey, Sam Sangster. Yeah, I love those things. And I had forgotten... It's been a while since I got one. Um, because I'm playing so slowly. But yes, thank you for reminding me. I think I can just open the map and um, instantly teleport it at, uh, to that thing now at any point. Which is, yes, as you say, super useful for exploration. Which... I mean, listen to the music. It's like this chill clarinet music with this beautiful grass with flowers and this water. It's so relaxed. I just want to walk around and explore everything and take in all of this lush landscape. Uh-oh. Cool it. Boy, I need to upgrade his sword. It is terrible. Yes, Taladaga, I'm 100% with you. I mean, like, I'm probably doing something that is grossly inefficient in terms of progressing me through the game and my characters, but I'm having so much fun doing it that I don't care. Traveling Dr. Silver Lotus. Delicious. Oh, you know what? I need to equip Kaya with a bunch of uh, artifacts. I don't think he has any. Yeah, he needs, he needs the works. Elemental Mastery. Attack plus eight is great. Um, <laughs> I like how much better... I mean, this is one star, two star. And it's just strictly double. Like, this Flower of Life, 129. And this is two stars, double the hit points. Perfect. Got it. And then... Let me go over here. And what is this? Um... Oh, cryo damage bonus. Well, he's cryo. Perfect. Yeah, use that, dude. Can I enhance your weapon? Because it's terrible. Um, yeah, I can nearly double its attack if I do this. Oh, but I'm going to use everything. I'm going to use all of my enhancement stones to do that. Um, I don't know if I want to do everything on him. Oh boy. Let me try this again. Ah. Assembling your beautiful television. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to just do this anyway. And make your sword better. Oh, you know what? That was probably a huge mistake, and I'm, I feel awful. Um, I should have gone back and given him a better sword. I'm a moron. Um, I've embarrassed myself and everyone, but that's okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him this Skyrider sword instead. 
And let's just try to forget mentally that I just wasted all that enhancement stuff on a one-star weapon. I'm learning. You can turn ore into enhancement stones at the blacksmith in town. Oh, yes, Talladega, that's right. So all that ore I collected, I can just go get some more stones. I should actually do that. Um, let me make sure everybody has some kind of... He has a decent weapon. Oh my god. This is why her damage is so bad. I needed to give her a better one. Um, wow. These are all pretty good. Um... Let's go for this. Um, may I give you a better bow? And then I think your hammer is as good as I got. Oh, that is scary. But it's the right TV inside. That's nice. Yeah, you don't want any funny surprises. You don't want any bait and switch. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. Okay. I guess maybe they do have their hands full. Um, I'm going to go back to town. Well. No, I shouldn't because I'll have to walk all the way back here and I don't have a, tel uh, a teleport stone that's any closer. I need to activate this teleport stone. All right. Let's just keep going. I'm sure it's early enough that I... I'm going to be okay with these weapons. Let me just look around, make sure I'm not missing anything fantastic. I got some crab. Oh, is there a is there something hidden back here? A hidden cave? Um oh, it's like another area. Well, we're not ready for anything like that. Let's get some ore with Noel. Crunch. And then let's climb up the side. And by climb, I mean I'm going to jump most of the time. There we go. Here's a little spot for you to stand and just recover yourself. Uh oh, can you climb this? This is going to be a true test. Uh, she's crawling. Uh oh. Can you get your stamina back here? No, I'm going to need to stand. Um. Oh no. Oh no. I'm ruined. To serve she died. You. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. HP too low. HP is really quite important. Understatement. Chowing down on some lovingly made dishes and visiting statues of the seven are surefire ways of restoring your character's HP. Well, she fell to her death. Um, I just had... She didn't have any stamina, I guess, is why I couldn't open up her, like, hang glider thing. Um, so let's figure out a different way to get up there than we don't have the stamina to just make that trip. So let me look at the map really fast and see how far I am from the Statue of the Seven. It's over here. I'm gonna go back to the Statue of the Seven and get her back to life. Look at this squirrel. I should talk to it. Got him. I turned that squirrel into raw. Yeah, I think that's what it is, puppet. Is that... Oh, and here's a spot anyway that I could have just come to to just fly straight up in the air and use it as a shortcut to the temple. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, you're immune, huh? Well. Yeah, not so hard. What is that? Nobody wants that. Alright, 
here. Take this. Fire everywhere. Got him. No problem. No problem. Cool. I got some mint. And I'm feeling real good. Um, there's the statue way down there. Alright, let's go get it. Yeah, even now, it's taking stamina, the glider. So, because I was at zero, she couldn't remedy her situation. Oh, wow, you built yourself a nice little tower, huh? Good for you. Uh-oh, the bad guys. Disappear. Disappear. Look at all that money I got. I hope you don't mind. I think we knocked that guy off. Oh, yeah, we did. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, we got a goblet. All right, let's cook some food. Let's cook some eggs. We're going to max it. And we're going to auto-cook it. Boom. Perfect eggs. Now, I'm wondering if I can give her some food. Use a revival item. So, if I... I like how an egg is a revival item, but it's great. Yeah, give her an egg. Come on. Let's get moving. Yeah, let's get moving. And then, can you eat some food now? Yeah, good idea, puppet. Let's take... Let's see what this bad boy looks like um oh i didn't mean to do that let's go here and let's just go into um eh, this isn't really where i meant to go i'm trying to get to the the fast eating screen here we go And then, I guess, I can give her this. All right, now everybody's full up. Leave it to me. All of it. Whatever it is. Whoa. What exactly is... I don't think you should take on so much responsibility without knowing what it is there. Noel, let's just... Let's calm down first. You just fell to your death from a cliff. All right, I'm gonna um, check out this wind current and see how this does for me. Uh-oh, bad guys. We're not gonna deal with them. We're going up. How high does this take me? Man, this thing is going really high. There's the temple. Um, there's something else. There's three mysterious statues. And I guess let's just do this temple for now. Sparks among the pages. Talk to Lisa. I will talk to Lisa. Is she in there already? I didn't see her. I'm hoping she's inside here. Um, she must not be. Because I didn't find her. Oh. So... Teladog, you're saying when I was falling with Noel, I could have pushed the attack button at the last second to, like, save myself the damage? I think somebody was telling me that, and I just forgot. I just kept trying to spam my hang glider. 
Thank you, Dee. Thank you for that tip. That's super helpful. Hey, Lisa. How are You're you? You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. You're very welcome. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Okay. Um. Why would the librarian mm, be at the ruins? Good question. Well, because Dean trusts me. Okay. So you should as well. I trust you. Um, we even standing out here, the disturbance of the elemental flow inside is making me uncomfortable. Don't trust her. Yeah, let's get this temple back to its normal state so I can be a little less tense. Yeah, there's something going on. I'll keep that in mind, puppet. Start. Oh my gosh, I gotta level Kaya up when we get in here. Poor guy's level two. Let's see, let's level you up. Now you're level six. Your attack, defense, and hit points have gone up. <laughs> That's funny, Teladaga. I thought I should play with the Japanese voices. I like to do that sometimes in games. Um, all right. I guess I could give this a go. Oh, I, you can be in my party? Great. Oh, I can go all the way up to five people? Sweet. I knew it. There was a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. She knew Come it. On. Are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. Yep, let's look for a way. That's great. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? I like to have as many people in the party as I can. Yes, let's ride this wind current. But first, oh, she brings out a book. And she, she's using some spells. Oh, it's four party members plus the guest. Oh, okay, cool. Enhancement or enhancement or. All right, we're riding up. Let's go. Let me just make sure there's no treasures over on this side. It doesn't look like it. And any treasures over here? No. Okay. We'll go back. We'll go back. I was just looking. All right. Here we go. Wow. I like her attack style. Oop. Adventure rank seven. Now we're getting there. Bing, bing, bing. Let's see here. What's, what's through this door? Hmm. It could be anything. Leave it to me. Whoa. All right. Whoa, she teleported. She like disappeared. That's pretty sweet. Well, can you teleport through there? A chest, how do we reach it? Nah, I couldn't intentionally teleport unless she's got something else up her sleeve. We'll figure it out. There'll there'll be a way. It's an electro monument. Electro. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Sweeties. 
when pyro meets electro, overload occurs. The resulting explosion deals AoE pyro damage and tears effortlessly through otherwise sturdy objects. Okay, cool. Um, well, hit it. Lisa's elemental skill can be unleashed by pressing or charged by holding. When the skill is fully charged, releasing it unleashes an area attack dealing massive electro damage. Fine then. Here's the chest, by the way. I'm gonna get this. Uh oh, we've got a time limit. They're overloaded. They're getting wrecked. You're. Uh oh. You're in for a little shock. Uh oh, I didn't do it. I failed. I, ch I failed the challenge. I gotta try again. I went over there to get that chest. I'm. I didn't do a good job. Let's try it again. Can you give me another chance? There we go. Got it. Challenge complete. I love how the weapons just float. Raw meat, wanderer's advice. All right, let's go. Lisa, we're running. Wait a minute, I'm gonna stop. Can I get that blue stone over there? Oh. I'm gonna try. Now nah, they won't let me jump over here. Alright then. He's electro charged. When Electro meets Hydro, Electrocharged occurs. Electrocharged continually deals Electro damage until it wears off. Interesting. Okay. Oh boy, they're hitting me. Yeah, give him the electricity. It's actually kind of hard to fight with her. Um, electro attacks can electrify bodies of water. Electrocharged water deals electro damage to all beings in the AoE. Electricity intermittently arcs off electrocharged beings, shocking hydro affected enemies nearby. Okay. I mean, that's cool. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. I don't. Yes, that does. Okay. I'm not going to explore that too deeply. I am going to say that um, she gets interrupted in her attack very easily. So it's great against like stuff. But if she, oh, she just got really, really blasted by that. Interesting. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Teladaga is like it, you. It does have a huge payoff, but you're you're vulnerable and you can be interrupted. That's true. That's right. She's a librarian. I mean, I gotta I gotta cut her some slack. Uh, I am gonna see if I can equip stuff with her though. Uh, it might not want me to do that. Seize the day. Seize the day, indeed. Hmm. All right. It's nearly time for afternoon tea. Is it? Is it already time for afternoon tea? Oh, another wind current. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Let's write it up. Here you go. I need you to eat some food. Um. Here. No. Here's the food. Here, use this. And then eat this too. There you go. Oh, charging R2. Okay, I gotta do that. Thank you for that tip. 
I've just been pushing R2. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a whirl. Give her some armor. We found something. Potato. Alright, here we go. Baddies all over the place. Let's see if we can do something real fancy here. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay, that just absolutely destroyed these people. Uh, let's see. Nice. All right. Let's just stand in the water. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's just, between electro -charged opponents. It's just kind of like an acquired taste. Caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Uh, interesting comparison. Yeah, so that time oh, I was able to use the water a lot more effectively. Gem? Yeah, I want to know about this You're gem. You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. I'm asking. It's used by the chosen to draw on elemental powers. Oh. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Okay. I wonder if they'll ever make these kind of platforms in real life when the technology provides and how I will do on them. I'm betting I will probably fall to my doom. That that's evolution. What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Get are off you my a hilly back. Churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? Man, no, she's calling me a hilly churl. It. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. Man. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Yeah, you're right. They'd never get it off the ground. Badoomch. But it'd be cool to give it a try. Break it, and we can head home and relax. Yeah, let's relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Yeah, I could, I could do with Dragon that myself. Dragon of the east, lion of the south, wolf of the north, falcon of the west. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. Mm. The dragon of the east, Storm Terror. Its real name is Devalin. Ah, somebody was telling me that earlier um, when I streamed this game last, that the name of the dragon was Devalin, but I didn't understand. The now to I know. I've forgotten that in all this storm terror business. Well, yeah, thank so you for now clarifying. You know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Yes. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Why would it go to such because lengths? Of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Why? Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become storm terror. Jeez. But why would one of the four winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? I mean, that's a good question. Uh, as a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Mm. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Thank you. They did something real bad, I'm betting. I've only got 900 seconds, everybody. I don't know if I can make it. I'm gonna try my best. Yes, we'll leave the domain. Oh, look. The skies are lightening up. I feel really good about this. Oh, it's finally done. What's well, finally done? All that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Good. 
Wow, look how pretty that sun looks. The glare of it, it's amazing. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? Okay. But if you've got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. Alright, cool, thanks. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? Did we? I missed we that. We come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Uh, I, I'm gonna go do that right now. Prologue, Act 1 complete. The Outlander who caught the wind. Prologue, Act 2. Oh, uh, it went too fast for me to read it. You can improve your adventure rank by offering animunculi to the statues of the Seven... Unlocking waypoints, seeking out chests in the open world, completing quests, and clearing domains. Okay. Tempest Fugit, Chapter Act 1. Oh. Wait, you just told me this. Okay. Well, I accomplished a great deal of things. Ooh, look at all the stuff that I just got. Goodness gracious. Man, that was awesome. I love when you just get um, a whole bunch of things. Let's see if there's anything I can do. Um, I only, I still only have the one of these resources. Uh, let's see. Achievements. Let's check this out. Wonders of the World and The Outlander Who Caught the Wind. Well, let's just go ahead and get these Primo Gems. Okay. Oh, we got some mail. Um, oh, goodness. The big adventure was a big success. Klee has sent this. I've got some great news, Traveler. I blasted a ton of fish today, and I didn't get caught by Master Gene either. I was super super prepared for this adventure. I made the bombs ahead of time, buried them where no one could find them, and picked up a lake further away from Mondstadt. Cool. You should come next time, Traveler. Yeah, I played the, uh, the little... I don't know if... It's, it's not really a mini-game, but the trial that you, with Klee to just see what she was like as a character, and it was a lot of fun. She's really cool. Um, confirm? Claim? Claim it. I got some fish some good experience and whoa 200 primo gems that like doubles my primo gem um dropped by wolvendom today this is also from Klee. not long ago albedo came up with a way to infuse things with electro energy um and so she's sending me a bunch more stuff oh look at this i just got 1600 primo gems 10 intertwined fate whoa whoa I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. Amazing. Um, dear Traveler, thank you for supporting Encouragement. Ten Intertwined Fates. So I can, like, open up a good pack, I think. If I go over to um, Wish, I think I can actually open up Klee, I can get her. Um, every ten wishes and guaranteed to include at least one four-star or higher item. Um, I'm going to try to get her anyway. Wish times ten. Let's see what happens. Whoa, look at this. S stars are coming from outer space. We got a black tassel. A harbinger of dawn. Another tassel. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. We're getting a lot of three-star stuff, which is fine. Um, the Debate Club. I love it. Another Debate Club. Thrilling Tales. Oh, and we got somebody called Sucrose. Well, she looks cool. She's got glasses and superhero boots and butterfly wings. Cool. Let me see what she's all about. An alchemist filled with the curiosity about all things. She researches bio alchemy. Oh my goodness. She's got like beakers. Yes, this girl looks sweet. 
Sucrose. Um, but she's also wind, it looks like, unfortunately, which kind of is the same as my main character, but that's okay. All right, cool. Well, we got a bunch of new stuff. And we got extra 135 masterless stardust. What does this do again? Currency used to purchase rare resources from the shop. Surplus stardust of destiny. Perhaps it can create new destinies when in large enough quantities. Sure, perhaps it can. Um, okay. Well, that was interesting. Um, I can't quite get Deluc or Jean because I don't have enough. I could try to buy a pack and see if I got lucky, but um, I don't know if I need to do that right now. Oh, okay. Puppet, I'm sorry about that with Twitch. I don't know what's going on. Wow. All right. So, how can I adjust my party? Um, characters. Wow. So, I have all of these people that I can, like, switch around between. Hmm. Interesting. Who do I want to use? This is really hard to, like, make this decision of who I want to have in my party. Well, I guess you could just switch them on the fly. Maybe not. Party setup. Here you go. Reading party info. Alright. I'm gonna have... Um... I want to try out some of these other people. I'm going to see what she does. I'm just going to see what her abilities look like. Maid, main character, edgy boy, and no one else. <laughs> just three, three group. I want to see what um, Sucrose's abilities look like. Oh, Lisa? Gotcha. Yeah, I should have Lisa. What is... Okay, so she's got a book, too. So she's like a magic user also. Ooh, here's one. Look, right here. We got an homunculus. And the homunculus. Delightful. Let me see if we can take these guys down. I like it. Yeah, I like I love how her attack just knocks people back. It's pretty sweet, and she has no um, power ups. She's doing her alchemy. She's got a little like sailor hat on. She looks good, ready to go. Hmm. Lots to think about. Hmm. Everyone, I'm going to um, use the restroom really quickly. I'll be back in about two minutes. I'm pause the game here on top of this cliff. Give me one second.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Oh, Teladaga, I didn't see your little joke there. That's hilarious. She is named after Sugar, isn't she? She is sweet. All right, let me see if I can give her... Speaking of sweet, let's give her some stuff. Let's give her some artifacts. Let's help make her the best she can be. Elemental Mastery, sure. Adventurer's Goblet, sure. Um, it's all kind of a hodgepodge. She's not getting any set bonuses at all. But to be honest, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and check out her weapon situation. Oh, yeah. Wow, this is pretty interesting. Legacy as a boost or um, energy shower. Each elemental orb or particle collected restores 1% HP. Um, I'll try this one just because I like the energy recharge boost. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Oops. Um, I, yeah, let's level you up as much as we can, anyway. Oh, whoa. These things are insane for leveling people up. Um, yeah, let's level you up to level 18. What does this take? All my money? Okay, that's quite bad. Let's just level you up to uh, <laughs> level 11, then. There we go. Level 12, I should say. Um, that's better. All right, now... Beaker girl. Let's see how we do over here. Uh-oh, too far away. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's see if there's a charge on your R2 ability. Nah, it just uses. But it, it's really, really fast to use. She's taking him down. All right, I need to go to the Statue of the Seven and turn in all of these uh, homunculi that I got. So let me kind of... I, it's down there. So let's just glide off, shall we? Yeah. Let's get ourselves over to this and turn in these two. I think I have two animunculi. All right, let's see what you got, Statue of the Seven. I'm going to offer this to you. Worship the statue. Um, mm, I won't get any boost because it looks like I have to have four animunculus to get there. But to be honest, um, I'm doing it anyway. Four K stuff looks really weird. Yeah, it blew my mind when I first saw it. You can climb the big tree for some sightseeing. Good idea. I will. Um, all right, let's climb this big tree. Oh, there's an amunculi up there. Maybe that was a subtle clue from you, Talladega. But I appreciate that suggestion because it looks like there's one up there. I see it. We're doing some shimmy work.
We're shimmying. Let's get it. Yes. Oh, there's a little bit of a weird graphical... I guess I'm in the trees, so that's why there's this... I'm in the leaves, I should say. So that's why it's kind of odd to see through. But maybe I can spot some other homunculi in this fashion. Yeah, I, I w I'm with you, Puppet. I didn't think that it would be a noticeable jump up, but it certainly is. Let's see if there's anything back by this waterfall. Wow, look at these herons. Hello, crane things. How are you? Ooh, there's a treasure chest. That's what there is. Huh. That thing died faster than I thought it would. We're going up here. Enhancement or animo sigil. Sweet. I'll take it. I'll take everything that you can give me. Nice. Nice swim. All right. Let's see. I'm on the lookout. Well, I know one thing I need to do, which is uh, go over and get this teleporter. Because I haven't activated it yet. Uh, so I will do that at some point. And just attempt to find um, all of the animunculi that I can. Hey, um, I am rank 7. So, the complete big time. I, <laughs> I'm really new to the game. I'm only rank 7. Um... I just finished the dungeons. I need to go back and talk to the Knights of Flavonius at some point here. Um, but I'm kind of just exploring and looking for one last animunculi before I head back. Hey, Corey, thanks for the follow. All right. Sucralose is going to do a little bit of hang gliding action and attach to the face of this rock. Can you imagine hang gliding and then hitting a sheer rock wall and holding on? I mean, she's really talented. I see one. I see one. Look at this. Happy day. I found it. Ding. Got it. Great. Um, so let's get back to that statue of the seven. Sedasan, how's it going? Um, I will probably be playing... Um, well, not probably. I will definitely be playing uh, RuneScape on stream next week. I did two streams yesterday, and um, the VODs are up on YouTube, and I'll be posting uh, a RuneScape video every day um, You think Sucrose is bad, Corey? I like her, um, but I'm, I just got her, so you know I'm I'm biased because I just pulled her out of a pack. But I like that her attack knocks people back. She's probably she could be garbage compared to the rest of the people I have, but um, she's kind of fun. She's got spectacles.
I should probably put Lisa in my party, though. Instead. Alright. Statue of the Seven. Worship it. Offer all of them. Got our max stamina up. Taking care of business. Um, all right, we're going to leave. And we got some Primo gems, some Sigils. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like her. It's probably overkill because, you know, to have two wind characters. I just love that her attack knocks the enemies back like that. I've always loved that in games when you can buy yourself some breathing room. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, she is badass. Thank you. I was like, oh man, I thought she was kind of good. Exploration knowledge. Myster mysterious Seely. Mysterious beings called Seely can be found scattered all across Teyvat. If you follow them and help them get to their final destination, perhaps something special might happen. Oh, okay. I'll help you. Where'd you go? I'm going to help you get to your destination. This is like those foxes in... Um... Oh, look at that. Oh, I saw another one of these broken pedestals earlier. So that's what these are for. Okay. Whoa. Man, we got a bunch of good stuff. So with all of the extra equipment that I have, like all of the extra weapons and things like that, you just use those for enhancing the weapons that you have? Or, you c or can you sell those at the shop? Is that all they're for? Not that that's a bad thing. Just curious. Okay. Thanks, Talladega. Just for enhancement. That, that makes sense. Now, I don't... I haven't encountered it yet, but is there an inventory cap in this game? Or can you have unlimited items? Is there, like, a backpack size? If there is, I haven't hit it yet, and I'm, like, super pumped about that, because... I'm not really huge on backpack management stuff. Boom. Look at that death butterfly that I just made. They have no chance against it. Take him down. This ruined wagon had a bunch of good stuff in it. Love it. I love it. Um, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go into the character screen. And give her some other artifacts. So, uh... Okay, Teladaga. Well, to be honest, it's fine that there's a limit as long as it's humongous. So, that's that's totally cool. Let's see. So she has on nothing. Um, and I can give her this adventurer's bandana. And she'll get the two-piece bonus of a thousand extra hit points, which is insane. So let's go ahead and equip this for you. And then... Um, whoa. Yeah, you get. let's give her you the really, really good adventurer's tail feather to give her the big attack bonus. And then... Yeah, she is. She's cool. She's a scientist. I like that. Um, let's go back and then let me uh, level her up as much. Let's give her some more levels. 
There we go. And then, um, let's see if I can enhance your weapon. You know what, Puppet? I haven't tried RimWorld yet. It's on my wish list. I keep waiting for it to go on sale. It does look really, really cool, though. It seems kind of like a, um, like a sci-fi dwarf fortress, or am I not thinking of the right game? I know I've been looking at that, though. It looks cool. I can bring her weapon all the way up to, um, being double its attack. So let's do that. Isn't that sad? It's never going to go on sale? Like, fact, yeah, because it's so popular? That's too bad. I almost bought it in early access, but I didn't. And now I'm kind of regretting it. Good morning. See, she's so nice. She's just like, good morning. That's awesome. I really want to try it. I have a buddy, in, a real-life buddy, who's been playing it um, and enjoys it. Look at this. It's like a chipmunk boar. It's coming at me. Oh, there's houses over here. What is this? Hello? Is there anyone here? Oh, yeah, there's some people chilling out over here. What's going on? Oh, this is like the Hunters Association. Hi, if you're looking for a hunting partner, you'd be better off picking someone else. Um, who are you? Oh, I'm Alan. I'm a hunter in the making. I'm trying my best to learn the tricks of the trade from Draft. Could you tell us about hunting techniques? Draft is very experienced, and he's taught me a lot, like how to read the wind direction to prevent our prey from catching our scent. He could even tell at a glance that the bow I had been using was no longer suited to my current skills. He then crafted a new one for me with his own hands. Thanks for chatting with me. Allow me to give you my old bow, since I no longer use it. Oh. Well, thank you. Maybe I'm not cut out to be a huntsman. Ah, uh, Teladaga, you're right. I should. I killed a squirrel once. Hunters, hold on. But yes, I do need to uh, get my food supplies in control. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, look at that. He reacted because I accidentally used my magic. He was like, don't do that. Traveler, what do you want? Um, Could you sell me some game you hunted? Who are you? I'm Draft. You can think of me as the head of the hunters, the best hunter in the town. Most of the meat from our hunts goes straight to the Good Hunter, a restaurant in the city. If you're here to make a bulk order of meat, I'm afraid we don't have the capacity to take it on. All right. Well, that's a shame. I was going to order the bulk order. Ooh, look, there's two busted statues here. I wonder if there's any of those sealies around. I'm looking for them. Hopkins the Marvelous? Who are, what do you mean, Hopkins the Marvelous? You! Yes! Traveler, do you ever find yourself frustrated because of your lack of strength? Have you wondered what it would be like to have power beyond your wildest dreams? Yes. Um, how do I become more powerful? See this holy water I have here? Drink just one bottle and you'll feel rejuvenated and more powerful than you could have ever imagined. Guaranteed. It might take a while for the efforts to kick in, though. Um... I'll buy one from you. A bottle of clear, colorless, and... Um, I know, it's a snake oil salesman. Contaminant-free liquid, indistinguishable from ordinary spring water. Hmm. May or may not be worth putting all of one's hopes into. I like how it's may or may not. It clearly is not, but I'll take it. It's a three-star item for 300 I'll buy that. Maybe it's a in brilliant cooking ingredient. Hello, Marla. How are you doing? A lovely day to sit on the bench. Oh, you're sleepy. Hello, what do you want? Um, you look sleepy. 
Yeah, I feel like I'm about to fall asleep any second. So if you got something to say, tell me quick. Um, why are you so exhausted? Hmm, well, it's because I can only meet with my lover at night. Whoa, TMI. The other reason is that I've been reading the Boar Princess series lately. I just finished the grand finale. The ending is a bit strange, but it's so wonderful that the Boar Princess and the Wolf Pup could be together. Have you read it? If you haven't, please do, and please help me return it to the library when you finished it. Thanks. Alright, got a little library book here. Thanks for that. Investigate. There's a radish in there. I found it. The radish of my dreams. Mm-hmm. You got that right, puppet. I'm gonna get that going. It's gonna be an hour-long video of me just reading the books in this game. It's gonna be a huge hit. I'm gonna call it Internet Sensation. <laughs> Whoa, that aerial attack was awesome. So I just jumped and did my attack down there. Man. That was uh that was pretty strong. All right, I'm going to go into the town and tr change a bunch of this ore into upgrade items. Man, look at the wind streaking by her as she sprints. That's pretty awesome. I thought those flowers were um, something else for a moment. I was like, oh my goodness, I have found it. It's free and homunculi, but it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be. That's okay. All right, blacksmith. Yeah, you can. Um, I'd like something made. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Obtain. Two. And then... Um, I would like to forge enhancement ore. As much as you can make, please. I know, everyone wants to eat Paimon. I feel so bad for her. Wow, these make really quickly. That's fun. All right. So. My strength still fails me. Yep, Ori, I'm with you. It is lunchtime. Enjoy yourself. Have a good lunch. She's relaxing. Just willingly sacrificing herself to the cooking pot. That's a shame. Poor Paimon. Um, let's go ahead and... Check out somebody else. Um... Let me look at... Oh, there's an artifact for you? What can we give you? Great. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Puppet. Yep. If anyone's interested, the Discord is a great way to uh, check the stream schedule and chat about games. Understand when videos are coming out and get announcements. Perfect. All right, everybody. Well, um, on Ori's note and Puppet's note, Teladaga, Puppet, Ori, everyone, thank you so much for stopping in for this stream of Genshin Impact. I, too, am going to eat some lunch. I want to thank you all. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Puppet, I hope you enjoy your new TV and I will see you all soon. Tomorrow, um, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern, I will be streaming uh, Slime Rancher. If you want to come by and, and see how my 
my ranch is going with the slimes. I can't wait to play more of this game as well. And I thank you all for your tips and advice. Yep, see you, puppet. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.